this morning it's sprinkling, but I have an eagle for company. Can you see it? He's chattering away up there. I don't think it's going to be much of a sunrise this morning. Not for color anyway. But still it's lovely and sometimes we take what we get. So let's, let's see what happens. This is the river, St. Croix River, between Taylor's Falls and St. Croix Falls. I'm all set up and um, I'm going to paint what I got instead of what I was looking for. I have my puddles mixed up so I can just grab the paint. I uh, studied the harmonies that I saw. Um, dark and middle values of mostly just subtle browns and blues. Warm, cool. Very subtle sky today. Most of the work is done on the palette. My palette is middle value, so I can judge everything, my middle tones, uh, the darks, and how light it's going to be against the middle value of my palette. I can define the, the edge and the character of the opposite hillside. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it subtle. Okay, now now working in there are some slight yellow tones in the water that keep coming in and out. So I'm gonna try not to overstate them. Ah it's raining. This was all done by um just varying the brush strokes just ever so slightly showing the contour and the forms of the land. Uh, and I'm just using this number eight Princeton As Aspen brush. Um, I'm gonna try to, to get this in before I get too wet. The indication of the tree, which is the only green thing in the, the picture here, which isn't really very green just has a little bit more yellow in it and, um, and just a few indications ah, I'm getting wet of detail I had kind of wanted to have this uh, oak tree here I get the connecting both banks um, so I'll just indicate it with the side of the brush. Soften the edges. Um, I'd like to work this edge a little bit, the water's edge, get it laying a little bit flatter. It's been changing in and out as it rains. Um, but just a little bit more indication and then we'll call it done. Done. It is latte time.